My name is Dr. Christine Sekaja Wiltshire. I'm a Career Development Fellow and the Infectious Diseases Institute, Makere University in Uganda. So I'm doing work related to tuberculosis. Um, from previous work that we've done, we found that a lot of the TB, HIV co-infected patients have low anti-TB drug concentrations. And several studies have, been, have confirmed that we need to increase the doses of anti-TB drugs. So what I'm doing now for my EDCTP fellowship is to see if these higher doses, particularly focusing on methamphetamine, um, can interact with antiretroviral therapy. So I'm particularly looking at the drug interaction between high doses of rifampicin and dolitegravir and ifavirenz among patients on uh, TB treatment who are co-infected with HIV. EDCTP has provided me one, of course, with the funding to carry out this research, but another thing is the networking opportunity. We've just had presentations from EACCR and we've seen that this can provide an opportunity from, for scientists like me to showcase our work, but also to interact with other people who are doing similar work and provide a platform from which we can form more collaborations and progress the work. So I think this is, to me, like a stepping stone from which other collaborations and more work can be done. We have a large pharmacokinetic team at IDI where I work, and um, during these EDCTV grants we've had a lot of trainings you know, pharmacokinetic um, research is not um, very widespread, especially in low-middle-income countries like ours. But we've had the opportunity to train other doctors, pharmacists, nurses on how to conduct uh, pharmacokinetic research. Um, from other EDCTP grants, but also this particular grant that I'm on, will give opportunity for others to be trained hands-on on how to conduct uh, pharmacokinetic research. I would want a program that can particularly pick up on people who have gone through different stages of the fellowship to be able to even handle larger opportunities, larger grants, larger collaborations. Even because right now we get uh, an opportunity to handle smaller grants, but it would be nice for this, this further EDCP funding to be a, a place where uh, we can progress to even bigger opportunities so that we don't drop off the grid.